So we fitted this boiler on a system with a thermal store and underflow heating, but the system didn't have any additional expansion. So we've calculated for the smallest expansion we can get away with, and we fitted isolation valve and a drain cock for servicing. Now, and we blanked off the PRV because there's one already in the boiler. Now we need to make this tamper proof so the customer can't turn it off themselves, and we can pressurize it from the point underneath. Now that we've isolated the vessel, we need to drain through the drain points in order to be able to accurately pump the vessel up to the correct pressure. Once the vessel is drained, we can then pump it up to our design pressure. It will differ, but as a rule of thumb, I go about a quarter of a bar lower than the system pressure once the system is cold. There's also a vessel in the back of the boiler, so we can isolate the boiler, drain the boiler down, and then again, we can pump up the vessel to the same pressure to, as what we did the external using the pump again.